up and welcome to Compu Mod. I am Seagull and today I am playing Minecraft and as a request from my brother actually he wanted to know how I built the piston elevator that I use in uh, some of my games, matches and servers and it's an alternating piston elevator so uh, let me just firstly show you how well it works. I built one right in this big tree I've got here and you can actually see the pistons from here as they are alternating up and down left and right uh, well not up and down just left and right from the bottom and they are fully adjustable so if you're gonna play with them if you're gonna build them on a multiplayer server uh, you can adjust the speed to go slower so you don't get stuck in between the pistons because they can go very fast and you don't want that in multiplayer as like I just said you get stuck in pistons. Now uh, firstly you just have to just go into the center I'll show you a little tip how to auto align yourself here um, but if you're in the center you just press the button and it's gonna start alternating the pistons and we go up the tree Now you can see this one is really slow because I do play uh, multiplayer with my brother and some other friends sometimes. This is why I set this one quite a bit slower um, so everybody can use it uh, and not get stuck anywhere between the pistons. So here we are in my treehouse. Uh, it's not really built yet. I've got an upper floor there where there's more stuff built right now. And anyway, the uh, down mechanism is also adjustable to the speed, so you don't lose any health as you go down. Press the button again, and down we go. Now the down speed can be set a little bit faster because there's no uh, problem with getting stuck between pistons pushing you up. So you can set this a little faster, not too fast obviously, because you don't want to lose any health. Okay, I'm going to go down to my uh, testing facility and I'm going to show you how fast this elevator can go. Okay, so here is a smaller mock-up of the elevator that I built just as a demonstration part and here you have a little fencing here. So what you can do is if you take the fencing or not fencing, just iron bars, sorry, you put one on each side uh, you can either use the iron bars or you can use the actual fences. Let me just grab a fence here. The fences, as far as I know, works a little better. Uh, as soon as you step in, you can only step into exactly the center. So this is gonna, so this is gonna help you just line up as close as possible to the center, and then you press the button, and there you go. Now if you might have noticed, this one also has an auto eject feature, the pistons at the top here will push you out as soon as you get to the top, you can disable that um, as you have seen in the tree that I had the elevator there. Alright, let's go down again, and there we go, at the bottom we are. I'm just gonna reset that. And now it looks all pretty. And now I'm going to go through a couple of mechanisms that is absolutely important to this elevator. This is how the whole system works. Alright, so I've got the uh, mechanisms set up here. And I'm going to go through them one by one. There's four, four of the mechanisms or circuits that you're going to have to uh, use. Otherwise, nothing of this will work. The first one over here on the blue clay is a adjustable up circuit the power goes up through these uh, checkered blocks to get towards this piston that I placed there and obviously it's adjustable uh, with the speed over here so if you power this up there goes the piston power it down and piston retracts so if we're gonna adjust all of these to the slowest and that one now we will be able to see exactly how the power goes up here you go goes up, goes up, goes up, and there we have it. So I'm going to power this down again. So this is going to be the adjustable up circuit and the same for the adjustable down circuit. Uh, only use redstone instead of torches for the down circuit. We're going to push the lever, comes out, push it again, goes back in, 
and we can adjust it here a little and you'll see there'll be a delay there we go and that's gonna be our down circuit for bringing ours down the elevator again now to switch between the up circuit and the down circuit you know when you press the button when you're at the top it brings you down when you press the button at the bottom it brings you up and vice versa we're gonna need something like this this is a flip flop switch a flip switch uh, two pistons one redstone block in between which they can push back and forth uh, some redstone beneath the redstone block to get powered when the block is over it and in this the two uh, redstone torches and a little redstone at the top will make it alternate whenever a button gets pressed it's as simple as this there you go now it's on now it's off and it's as simple as that now the main mechanism the most important of them all is this over here this is how the entire elevator works this is how i got the idea that i found this um, this is simple this is a sticky piston over here and a standard piston over here and as soon as you switch this both of them goes out so your sticky piston pushes out and your normal piston pushes up and that is where you are going to be getting pushed up and now uh, the problem i found with this uh mechanism is that as soon as you depower this they both pull but the sticky piston do not pull the normal piston back and that's why we need a up circuit as well as a down circuit so the down circuit will be flipped over from the up circuit by this and then it'll just do this it'll repower and depower the sticky piston pulling the normal piston back all right i'm gonna go over to uh, another area and I'm gonna start building show you guys exactly how we're gonna do this okay so we're on another one of my little testing islands here where I'm gonna build this for you guys and show you um, how you can build it yourself first of all um, you're gonna need a space of I think it's about 14 or 15 14 by 14 blocks so we can we'll figure that out at the at the end I can't remember right now uh, I've tried to compress the entire elevator as much as I can but yeah as you can only compress it thus so far to not have circuits interfere with each other now let's uh, first you're gonna mark out where exactly you want uh, to go up in your elevator so I want this to be my my floor tiles and then in this hole would be where I go up right in the hole first thing you get is you get your pistons let's go to the redstones and we're just gonna use normal pistons we're gonna put two in just cause it's gonna look better instead of putting something else there cause none of the woods uh, wood planks matches the piston in color exactly but this piston is not gonna be functional at all and then you're gonna grab any block uh, I like using quartz blocks for this purposes cause it's just plain white and from where you want to go up you go back one two blocks and then place your chosen block and you just stack them up side by side up to however high you want your elevator to go i'm gonna just adjust that a little bit and the next thing you want to grab is your sticky pistons so let's just move that over a little bit i'm gonna swap these two sticky pistons is gonna go right against the wall facing you we're going to start at the bottom here you can start at any side um, if you want to start on the same side i do it's just going to make it easier to understand um, when i'm doing the the circuits to power all of them so we're going to go up and then we're going to take normal pistons and have them facing up on the sticky pistons just like this And there we go next you just want to fill in these gaps to make it all look nice and neat and get some sides up these are uh, pretty important because if there's no blocks there the the, the last mechanism I showed you with the uh, 
the piston pushing the other piston and both of them extending uh, it's not going to work so you're going to need these sides here and there we go all right so this is the main part of the elevator this is the 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 part that's going to push you up and then you can actually break down the wall at the back that you just built because the uh, down mechanism is going to have to be attached directly to the piston's back and one other thing you can do is grab something that's not going to be moved like obsidian obsidian does not get moved by pistons just place them at the top here as well as if you are going to do the exit mechanism you place the two pistons now the reason I'm putting these two obsidian blocks here is just in case you misplace a circuit somewhere uh, the the whole piston system won't push everything up and you're gonna have to ro have to rebuild this whole uh, piece here all right now let's get ready for step two okay so step two would be the up mechanism first uh, I've got some blue and green clay here as well as redstone torches redstone torches uh, I've got a redstone repeater and a lever the lever switch is just gonna be until we get the uh, full mechanism everything wired up correctly so we're gonna start off by using the green clay and you're gonna cover the sticky pistons and not cover the normal piston so we're gonna start at the bottom let's uh, start at the bottom here and you're just gonna alternate them between covering the sticky piston and not covering the normal piston I'm gonna go around and do the other side and do exactly the same uh, just remember cut away a piece here so you can put one below the first piston because we're going to need that powered and then again cover the sticky pistons Whoops. and then take some redstone and just put one next to each one of the pistons same on the other side and no, we're not gonna, we're not going to put one up here because we want this piston to push out and just keep us here on the floor. Let's uh, let's pull this while we're here. So we want this one to push out but not up. So we're not going to put uh, uh, redstone here because this is our up mechanism. We don't want this one to push uh, up, just out. And let's grab some blue clay. Now with the blue clay, you're gonna want to alternate again so I'm going to chop away one more here and you're gonna want to alternate uh, against the green one so wherever you have a green one you're not gonna put a blue one so I'm gonna do this just like this and there we have that same on the other side hell that I do now that one's gone that one's gone that one and that one all right now um, there's gonna be repeaters on the inside of here giving power to the redstone on the inside that's on the green part but we're not gonna put them there just in case we misplace a circuit and uh, we're gonna mess up the whole uh, system of pistons here so all you have to do is just alternate them again blue on blue Let's chop away this uh, and one more just to give us some working space and then you wanna um, go two back and then you're gonna form a full checker pattern um, just like this now this is the first circuit I showed you guys the up circuit there we go I'm going to do the same on this side uh, now here we don't really have to chop anything away because uh, there's no pistons lower than the ground and this one goes there and there we go now plain and simple we're gonna put torches all on the outside right in between every gap as well as on this side here we go 
and piston, uh, sorry, not pistons, uh, repeaters facing uh, inward into the checkered pattern all the way down. I don't think we need one there. And one over here. And there we go. Now you want your uh, torches on the back side of the elevator lit. So all we need to do is put the repeater here, the lever, switch the flip, and there we have it. Okay, this is what you want. You want the torches to be on at the back. So when we do put the repeaters in here to power the pistons, um, they won't all go all wonky. I'm just going to do this real quick on this side. Get some torches on the outside. Same here. And then repeaters going. Whoops. Ah, oh, messed that up. And repeaters over here, here, here. I'm going to do another one here here and here. Now I haven't said yet but this is doable in survival mode. I have done this on a survival server that uh, I've played on. It's possible to do it. All you need to do is when you are building up uh, just dig a hole, uh, make some water in it and you can always jump down into the water, make the water like too deep just to be sure you don't get hurt. Okay, Let's see here. This one also needs to be powered then. So the back torches are lit. There we go. Alright, now that is basically the up mechanism. All we need to do now is put some repeaters down here. I don't think... Yes, we're going to need one down there. Uh, I'm going to, just for display's sake, put some blue blocks there, just so we know that's supposed to be a circuit. I uh, don't think we need one here. No, we won't need one here. Uh, one extra thing you would want to do is just bring this up one more. And then we need a, a repeater here. And then a torch here. And we're going to have block, 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 and redstone. And what this is going to do is this single, this straight stack up here is going to power that sticky piston at the back, pushing this one out. But because we do not have any redstone down here, um, it's not going to push up. It's just going to push it out to keep us level when we want to exit the elevator. All right, let's go down. Do this side real quickly. And that is that. Now, before we test anything, uh, I think we're going to need one down here as well. It's here we go. Okay, so everywhere where there's a torch on the uh, inside, on the front side of the elevator, you're going to put a uh, repeater, except for at the very top um, on this one side. You're not going to have redstone, so you're not going to need a repeater. Uh, so you're going to just put a single torch up here and line them up to power this piston right here at the back. That's the up mechanisms uh, done. I am going to not test them just yet because I want some one more thing. Okay, let's test them. Let's test them before we do that little step. Okay, so first we're going to do is we're going to depower these, and all of them went up nicely. Here we go, one more time. Nice. Okay, so like I said, they're not gonna retract yet uh, because we have not built the down mechanism yet. Let's just test this side real quickly. There we go. And as you can see, the sticky piston pushed out but it did not push up like the rest of them. So the up mechanism is at 100%. All right, one small step, which is gonna be step number two. Okay, step number next. I think we're on step three now. This would be a small one, but very important because this piston does not push up with the rest of them. And we need this very first person to push us up before this person takes over, pushes up some more, that one goes up, that one goes up, and the whole sequence happens. So to do this, I'm going to go around the back. 
and obviously the piston is going to be on this side right here so what you can do is you can just dig yourself a small hole here and we're going to dig in right underneath the elevator and you'll see the piston right there so we're going to replace that with a block I'm going to change over to yellow blocks there we go I'm going to change this to yellow blocks and one there, one there and I think we're going to have to move it all the way back to here. Yeah, that should work. I hope. Well, we'll check it out later. Ah, now we're going to do some redstone, not there, and a redstone torch right here. Now that's going to power the piston. I'm going to go around. You'll see the piston pushed up. But we do not want it pushed up just yet. So we're going to put a... Let's dig a hole all the way around here. Why is there sand there? Let's just make it all neat and nice. I dig around here and here and then right over here. Let's just put two blocks with a button and a redstone torch. And we're going to run some more redstone down here. Now if we do this fast enough, uh, the pistons might not be affected. There we go. That was really fast. And we're going to just run this all the way around here. And put a repeater here. As well as here. And then dig some more out. All around to here. I'm very finicky about this stuff, so I'm going to just make that all nice and neat, and that was fast enough. And now everything is still powered at the back on both sides. Yes, and the piston here has not pushed up. So as soon as we push this button, everything goes up, and it cancels out again. Let's try again. Everything goes up and it cancels out again. That is perfect. So now we have in step number three, we've got the button. Uh, the first push piston works and it also activates the entire up mechanism going or taking you rather to the top of the elevator. Now I'm going to go around and we're going to do the rear mechanism to go down. Now looking from the back, you want to use the same rule as we used for the green blocks. We're going to use black blocks just because I think the red uh, looks nice on it. And the same rule applies. We're just going to cover the sticky pistons, which is the back here, and not cover, obviously, the white blocks. So let's just cover the sticky pistons first. And then we're going to zigzag pattern it again just to get a checkerboard effect. There we go, all the way. Yeah, we're gonna not go all the way to the top. I will just take that away if it's necessary. And this side, no, that one. And there we go. And then we're gonna go with the down mechanism as I showed you uh, in the beginning of the video. Redstone on the outside, redstone on the outside here, up to the top. Uh, we're going to need one down here as well. And then pistons pointing inward. And that should be enough. I think we're going to need to do one down here. I'll, I'll figure that out now. Now the down pistons uh, cannot go any faster than one tick as if it goes faster you might uh, get damage when you go down. It just goes down a little too fast on anything, on, on no ticks there. And to test this all we're going to do is we're going to grab a button, here we go, just grab a button here, put the button there and Let's see if everything retracted. 
everything but the last one yeah so I was right here we're gonna need one more block over here okay that's not gonna work so we're gonna have to uh, punch this down a little bit and run it upstairs let's do this and that grab our yellow block just so we've got a reference as to what goes where and this one goes here this one goes out this one goes out and that one and then redstone and torch and then we can put a a black block right on top of that with a repeater facing inward on one tick and as, as I've removed these redstones I'm guessing most of them yeah okay, let's so why is this one not pushing up let's find that out real quickly oh cause this is blocking that off um, how are we gonna do this now okay we can just go down one more and this should work if we remove that yep and there we go now let's uh, push a button everything goes up and if we use our test button at the back here everything retracts nice so there we have it we've got an up mechanism working fine we've got down mechanism working fine now we just need to do the flip switch so we can have this whole mechanism uh, going up and down with a press of one button okay so now we've got uh, both these up and down mechanisms and circuits working 100% with a push of the button at the bottom the only problem we have is we need them to alternate between the two so we can go up and down and that's where those that flip switch comes in the flip mechanism uh, let's build that I'm gonna use some yellow blocks let's put one right above the last the topmost redstone piece here put a redstone block next to that and we're gonna go one two out and remove the inner one one two out remove the inner one and we're gonna place a piston like this facing towards the redstone block take these two away three away and we're gonna place one two blocks on top now the, the side that the redstone block is not on we're gonna place a redstone uh, torch first so it pushes back that way another one on this side and then we're gonna place some redstone dust on the top here linking the two and that's the circuit now if you wanna test this real quick we're gonna push a button everything powers up the back and everything depowers at the back a uh, simple way to do this now then is to just uh, let's see we're gonna have to make a button here let's just enclose this real quick no not there and two walls two walls place a button and we're gonna just wire it like this one here over here I'll bring it out over and next to it again up again and just bring it all the way here uh, and then redstone dust here 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 get through the block with a repeater we're gonna run redstone dust all the way over here not next to this redstone torch otherwise this uh, redstone dust is gonna get powered from the side so we're gonna put a repeater here and that should work 100% so if we push the button on the bottom gonna push up there we go and we push the bot button at the top it's going to retract now even if you do push the button at the top now while it's retracted it should bring them all out again 
and back. Or if you if there uh, if you want to go down and somebody has gone up, you should be able to just there we go push this button and it's going to retract itself. Perfect. So whether you're at the bottom and it's been used or not, the elevator works like a normal elevator. Now one more thing that I'm going to show you to wire is the auto exit. This is part of the final wiring. Uh, all you can do is this torch right here. Actually you can just put this torch right here. Um, this torch right here should work fine, but no, let's do this. Let's uh, single stack this one up like this. And uh, how are we going to do this? Put one here, torch here, and then one on top of it. Let's put one block up here. And then this torch should be off. And it is. And some more yellow blocks there, there, and there, which would power the auto eject. Yes, there we have it. Okay, so just a single stack here, right on top of this last uh, redstone torch, one block, one torch, one block. Next to the block, another torch, one block over, and then some more blocks here with redstone on it. And as soon as we press this button, it should go up and the auto exit works fine it just does not retract for some reason let's uh, see if we can find out why okay it's not going to retract just yet let's, let's pull it back there we go it should all push back nice And there you have it, a fully functional elevator. Now all we need to do is grab a glass block and enclose this whole thing, otherwise we're gonna fall out. Uh, some glass blocks, let's just put this in here. Glass blocks just makes it look so much nicer. And then if you are not used to the centering of the elevator yet, just grab a fence, one on the one side, one on the other, and it'll help you align yourself to the middle, push your button, up you go, out you go, and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna uh, just uh, take a second and figure out why this is not retracting itself. Okay, so I found, a, I found the problem, and it's very simple to fix. When you press the button here, it goes up, and the auto eject pushes out, it's supposed to, all you need to do is, I place redstone here, replace the very first one with a uh, repeater and it should uh, uh, extend and retract. Again, let's just push all this down. Push it back up again. Comes out, goes back in, and you're set. Everything is working 100%. Uh, as I said, you can just disable or remove the uh, auto the auto exit feature and you can make this as high as you possibly can now just keep in mind if you want to adjust the speed uh, you're gonna have to adjust all of them down here this is for the down speed and for the up speed you're gonna have to adjust all of them actually you can adjust just one at a time uh, but if you adjust one side or the other just everybody all the repeaters that's below each other you have to adjust um, at the same time excuse me otherwise uh, you're gonna have pistons coming out uh, out of sequence and you're gonna have a great big mess up there so just all of them on one side or all of them on the other side or both sides just remember all of the repeaters in line on top of each other has to be done as well as all the repeaters in line on this side so you're gonna replace, uh, you're gonna adjust these ones, the the front repeaters. You're gonna have to adjust these front repeaters as well, because just keep in mind it is a sequence. It has to happen in sequence, otherwise you're gonna get stuck between pistons. Um, you're gonna die, and you, nobody wants that.
Well, there you have it. That is an alternating piston elevator that has adjustable speed for multiplayer and auto exit. You can also auto align yourself here if you're not used to the whole um, getting in the center of it yet. Nice retract there. And there you have it. All you need to do now is you can do something like just this. Just enclose it, make it look nice and so on and so forth. Anyway, I'm not going to go more into detail of this. You have your elevator. Go build your elevator right now if you have uh, very high places inside mines um, on trees like I did or if you just want to build a huge building and you don't want to climb ladders all the time. Go do this right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the likes, all the comments and the subscriptions you do. So if you did find this video helpful, Go to my channel, subscribe there, and you can see so much more that I do. Also, go check out my Patreon page. If you want to support me directly, you can become a patron there, and you can have so much cool bonuses uh, when you do become a patron. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.